Moving on, I want to start talking about really large data sets and how to use accelerators on uh, the cloud platform. One of the big advantages of using cloud platform is you have access to different types of hardware. And here I'm going to show an example of how if I have terabytes of data or something, I can very easily set up a cluster. Uh, I'm going to choose again an environment for this to run in, a software environment. I'm going to choose uh, small workers here, just as this is an example. And I am going to ask for a cluster of machines. And this will give me back a connector. And here I'm going to say, I want at least five machines and I want it to uh, adapt to 10. And so as we do the compute, it's going to ask for more machines as we have more things to compute. And so let me open some diagnostic windows so that we can see what's going to happen. Let me turn on the cluster map and also the progress bar. So that's there. You, there's the cluster map, and there's the progress bar. And now let's run a compute. This is using a airline on-time performance data set from the uh, Bureau of Transportation. And if we look at this, this uh, I'm going to calculate how many flights we have per day in the last 20 years, and I'm going to plot the total number of flights every day for the last 20 years. And if you see this, this will start pulling in machines. Uh, right now you see this purple dot is a scheduler. And in a few seconds, you should see different machines popping up as, as they start up in the cloud. So now we have two machines and it's going to start doing the computation and keep adding machines as it needs more compute. And then when it finishes running, it's going to shut the machines down. So this is a very efficient way of doing really big data without having server costs continuously. And so uh, that we have the plot available now. And if we look at this, this is the last 20 years of flight data. And you can actually see when COVID happened and all the flights disappeared. And if you look at the whole plot, we're still not really back up to pre-COVID flights. And so this is sort of the power of being able to do interactive visualization on massive data sets.